Hi, everyone. Welcome back. My name is Adam Newell, and you're watching Up and Adam. Over the past few weeks, there have been numerous allegations surrounding Real Housewives of Salt Lake City star Mary Cosby. From coal allegations to alleged extramarital affairs, a family torn apart, and the list goes on. From what we're hearing, Mary's last act as a housewife was not attending the season two reunion. However, that left the fans with more questions than ever. So today I'm excited to be joined by Mary's mother, Rosalind Cazares, and her stepfather, Mark Cazares, to hear their side of the story. So with that, let's jump right in. It's time for all your binge-worthy pop culture news. Welcome to Up and Adam. Hi, Rosie. How are you? I'm fine. Fine. And you? I'm great. But I have a feeling after this, you'll feel relieved and better than fine. Yes. Better than fine. And Mark, how are you? Doing good. Thank you. Doing great. All right. All right. Well, I just want to say to both of you, I know that this isn't going to be the easiest conversation and there's a lot that we have to cover. I'm so thankful that, you know, both of you were able to sit down and for your time, it means everything. So thank you so much. And... Mm -hmm. Obviously, you know, we're back to talk about some hard-hitting topics, and it kind of surrounds the Real Housewives of Salt Lake City. I mean, Real Housewives of Salt Lake City, we're on Bravo, your daughter's on the show. Have you seen the show? Yes, uh, some of it. You have? How do you feel about the show? She's talented to me. She's great. Yeah? You like Mary on the show. I love her. She's great TV. Mm -hmm. Andy Cohen, he's he's known as the father of Bravo. He says the same thing, that she's he's great really, TV. He is too. I love Andy. Uh -huh. And Mark, have you seen the show? You yeah. know, I maybe half an hour or so. I'm, I don't watch much TV. I'm kind of working a lot and I'm, I do some other stuff, a little bit of golf and fishing. So, But I have seen bits and pieces of it. Bits and pieces. Sure. Okay. All right. Not a reality TV guy, but that's yeah. all right. So I wanted to kind of kick this off with introducing both of you. Obviously, we know that you are Mary's mom and Mark, you are an extension. Stepfather. The stepfather. Right. Cazares, Cazares. Mark Cazares, Rosie Cazares. Right. Mark, how long have you been Mary's stepfather? Uh, Rosie and I got married uh, in January of 1985. So Mary Almost was... 37 years. Wow. January the 20th. January 20th will be, uh, yeah, 37 years. So, so it's safe to say you've been in Mary's life for most of her life. Sure. Mm -hmm. From from the very beginning. Oh yes, I remember. Oh yeah. Would you consider yourself like a father? Sure. To Mary. I, I would. You know, she uh, Mary is um, what the beautiful thing about the Mama and Rosie and their family is that it is in fact you know. But when Mama was here, it was mm -hmm. kind of like a village raising a child. So. Mary, she lived with us till she was in high school, and then she went to live with Mama for a while, and you know she was going to private school, kind of back and forth. So yeah, I was. Uh, I've, I've, in, uh, I've actually known their been in part of the church school. and part of their family um, most of my life. So, but yeah, I would be her. Uh, I've been in and around their whole family for it since I was a young man. Wow. And by the way, I don't even feel like it is, we can't move on without acknowledging this beautiful photo oh, mom, mom. of your yeah. mom. When I walked in here, I was, I, I know that Mark, you greeted me at the door, but as soon as I saw her, I was like, what an infectious smile. Yeah, she is absolutely beautiful. She was the mentor for our Rosie Terhol family. Um, my family who came and joined the church in 1972, a mentor for my whole family. And she was a mentor for literally hundreds, if not thousands of families and uh, people that uh, came in contact with her and, and, and the church and even outside the church. So she was uh, quite an amazing, just absolutely amazing person. She made an impact. Oh, unbelievable. I can yeah. even tell by just, oh, Rosie, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, you know, I think, honestly, how, how special is that? especially she's touched so many people and we've now been introduced to mama sure. on the show on real housewives of salt lake city so right. even though there are those negative moments sometimes that we get sure. we would have never at least someone like me right. who lives in florida or california maybe i wouldn't have been introduced to mama right. and known how special of a woman she is so out of right. everything 
with the good and the bad, at least we can take that away as a positive from the show. You know, Adam, I feel the same way if I can say, regardless of the conversation and the questions you're going to ask us and what we come out with today, the most important thing for Razi and myself is that mama gets to be seen in the light of who she actually is. Right. And anything that didn't represent God, anything that didn't represent honesty, anything that didn't represent uh, good things and keeping families together and promoting family health and strength and business and great and good things, mama would not have been for it. Right. So no matter what is said or what's done here, she is everything good. I can Absolutely. tell you that. Absolutely. She was everything good. And she would do everything she could to keep marriages together, families together, help with businesses. She, she did quite a few things. So Well, we're definitely going to dive into some of this. You know, I think probably one of my first questions, and I know this might be a little bit more difficult, but on the show, Mary says that she hasn't spoken with her mom, Razi, um, in over 20 years. Mm -hmm. And that's because the family was upset and jealous because mama chose Mary as the chosen one to take over the church and marry Robert Cosby Sr. That's not That's true. Not true. And you know, Razi, even mm -hmm. you and I had this conversation over the phone before I came here, mm -hmm. and it's kind of, reality television is kind of like a double-edged sword. Like right. yeah. it has the good with the bad, and people are going to love you or they're going to love to hate you. Right. Regardless, I don't know if anyone can brace themselves for going into reality television. And if it's normal to you, Sometimes maybe you're questionable because it's not a it's not a normal thing to have four or five cameras in your face and cutting up and acting out. You know, it's it's a different platform. But yeah. it was announced. Andy did confirm that Mary is no longer going to be a part of the show. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. She was able to. So how this works is production releases the last few episodes before they go to tape the reunion. And this season, Mary had an interesting one. Mm -hmm. um, there were remarks that came out that were deemed as culturally inappropriate. Of course, everyone is still talking about Robert Cosby Sr. Mm -hmm. There are cult allegations He's and even horrible. extramarital affairs. So there are so many allegations that are coming out right now. Mm -hmm. And some would even say that maybe Mary knew she was going to be asked about this at the reunion. And she was like, I'm done. I don't want any part of it. If I, if I can say, Mary here, when she... When this whole thing went down and she made the comment that mama wanted her to marry robert and she was giving her the church and everything that that's that's a, that's not true that's not even near any close to the truth but but because she was in her early 20s and mid 20s and being manipulated by robert cosby and and his business manager uh for of mama's mortgage company but she, she had was just a young, mama had just married her and Dana. That's what I was just gonna say, Rosie. And, that, and Rosie was just about to. She uh, was younger than Mama. Tom. If Mama she meant was, for Mary to marry Robert, why would she then, with Robert, marry her to her husband then Dana? Right. Three years before she passed. I mean, she didn't know she was gonna pass, obviously. So, you you need to understand too. Marriage in the Pentecostal church in our church is lifetime. So, you know, saving for the cause of fornication or adultery or, or illegal acts, you don't get divorced right. in the Mormon, in, in the Pentecostal church. And I think as well as like in the LDS church in Utah. Here. So marriage is not something that you, you, you take lightly, you know, and I think even in, even in society now, you don't get married. It's not a light thing. So from mama to Mary, Mary to Dana, her husband, who she was married she to was 17 when Mama when she got passed. Married. Well, I think she's a little and, older than that, but, but anyways. And Mama didn't well, pass. She suddenly died. Yeah. Well, Mama, everybody knows what yeah, that Yeah, well, Mama died suddenly like that, truthfully. But Mama was not going to marry her to Dana and then expect for her to get a divorce and marry Robert or Bob. Okay. That's not true. Well, you know, there was a... But Mary believed that. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to interrupt you, but Mary okay. believed that. Because she was manipulated by Robert and the business manager and other older people around to maintain the structure of the church and the finances. To be honest with you, it came down to probably dollars and cents. Mm -hmm. So you think that Mary most likely got married to Robert Cosby because it came with the wealth? No, it, it broke her No, she broke her and Dana. I think her intentions, she never Bob did. It. It's obvious oh. she said And it Lois. I did see the clip on the show. She never wanted to marry him. No. Right. She said on the show, actually... When she was mm -hmm. caught in a scene with one of her cast members, Heather, 
She said, I did marry him. I didn't want to, Heather. No. I didn't want to. That's weird to me. But my grandmother really did want me to. No. So I obeyed her. She's I trusted right every there. word. She believed. She wasn't what even here. Robert told she her. Was... Bob told her that's what mama said. Right. Mary never talked to him. I guarantee you, somebody has a conversation with Mary and said, did you sit with mama? And she told you that she wanted you to marry Robert because she would have to tell you to divorce Dana first. Right. First, you'd have to divorce Dana. Because you were married to Dana. And it's fair to yeah, say, beautiful win. as Mama being the head of the church and marrying Mary to Dana, knowing that marriage is for a lifetime, That's right. that she would not have they set Mary up to get a divorce. Them. She would have no. never done that. She, she, she wouldn't have. Give if she uh, wanted Mary that, to marry. That was Mama's husband. Yeah. If she wanted Mary to marry Robert, why wouldn't she not just keep her single? Right. Because her sister was single. Mary's sister? single and I'm, she may still be single i don't know who denise yes my daughter other her daughter. sister is still single you know there was something when we were talking before we came on here we what? spoke about the fact that robert cosby after mama passed um that he tried to pursue you as well he wanted oh, to wow. have mark out of the picture and mark Yes, well, be, be in a there, relationship with Rosie. He there told me, my he told me. my mother this when mm -hmm. she was here, and uh, we was she was helping an elderly lady, Sister Vern, and he came. He was over there helping her, and he told Mama, and I ran to see Mama because I was over there when they got there, and he came running. He's so ugly, I can't. He's come running down Inside the, now. around the bushes, said, Mama. Uh, no, he called her Taters. Taters, Rozzy likes me. That's what he said. That's He's very, crazy. He thinks, let me just tell you. I want Rozzy to finish her story. This individual's in love with himself. He thinks every woman wants him. But he's so, so mistaken. <laughs> Is it... <laughs> I'm trying to connect this. Is mm -hmm. it just this is who he is? Who is he it is. what comes with it? Is it because, mm -hmm. you know, when I had a conversation with you before this, we mm -hmm. were talking about how Mama married Robert, mm -hmm. brought him into the church, mm -hmm. right. showed him all of her ways, you know, tried showed him, him, tried to teach him, right. and then made him an even better person. A bishop. Tried to. A bishop. That's right. Tried to. Right. So do you think with having his life elevated by mama mm -hmm. by having all of the material things that come with it having the church having the title of being the bishop mm -hmm. did that fuel the ego i think it did and here let me just say this adam if i can he was nothing I, he, he yeah, yeah rosie took the words out of my mouth he was he had nothing he was nothing before he married mom right and i don't want to i don't want to judge people by saying that they're just horrible they were horrible people before. They're always going to be horrible or what have you. What I will say is mama did a great job in working on him and teaching him and making him into a bishop before she left. However, without her guidance and without her before continual... Before she left, Mark, she did not she like passed, him. I mean, they had issues. I mean, all Cut. marriages have issues. But he was a, a, at least a decent person and, you know, reasonable before she left. But after she left... Yeah, I think it fueled the ego, all right? I think he, well, he just Mama talked to me, and she said, Rozzy, keep your house coat on because he's a freak. She did not like him. She used that word. That oh, word. Wow. Okay, she, yeah. she said he's a freak. It's, so he had issues. A, this was... Sex addict. He... Yeah, he... Oh, yeah. So this was closer to the time before... Right before Mama when, passed. When he, when, that day when he told me. Before, uh, yeah. That day he said, told Mama, Rosie likes me. Why do I have to like him? Yeah. Right. And I, mean, I was am married I, am to I, I mean, I, I know I'm not the best looking and I'm maybe shorter, but no. I mean, I don't think my wife would have to want her stepfather over me. Never. I don't think I'm an ugly guy and I'm, I think I do okay. And I treat my wife with respect and love. <laughs> I've always loved her. Regardless of our marital problems or any problems we've had, we've with separation or what, whatever. If, even if Rosie would have divorced me, I would still support her and love her because of mama and who she is. But I don't think my wife would need to want her stepfather no. right. over me. I never would hurt my mother. But because like he that. thinks so much of never. himself, 
and is in love with himself probably more than anybody else is. He, he probably thinks that, but he, I can tell you this, there was a, there was a plan and you can kind of, without being said, there was a plan when mama left, when she passed suddenly to make sure that I was removed. For whatever reason, how did I know pass? what I felt. Mark, you keep saying she he, passed. How, how I, did she pass? I, so, very suddenly, very okay. suddenly. Thanks. I'll say this: I know what I felt, and I know some of the rumors that I heard from other family members. And the and the question was asked: How do we get rid of Mark? Mm-hmm. And they said it out loud. This is not something I. Um, it's not hearsay or something that I'm pretending that I heard. Because Mama it loved was, Mark. Because I can tell you why. Because Mary was not Robert. Bob Cosby's first choice. He wanted Rosie because Rosie was already close to mama. She was running, she was the national choir director. She was, we were already doing tremendous great things with the choir. We've, we've sung, we were the choir that sang to pass the torch for the 2002 Winter Olympics. We've sang with Michael Bolton, Celine Dion, uh, uh, Reba wow. McIntyre, Lyle Lovett. We sang for Maya Angelou. We've sang for some of the most prominent people on this planet. Wow with Rosie in the choir. So Rosie represented power structure for the church. So if he gets Rosie, who's gonna question him or anything else? It's a power struggle, it's manipulation. It's about money and power. Yeah. So Mary was the young, beautiful, beautiful 20 something that got caught up, she's a victim. Now she's just, she's a grown woman. She's a grown woman with a son, that that's her concern now. And I don't know how she can make it any plainer. She does not want to be married to her step grandfather. Never did want to be married to him, and all the lies that he told of Mama wanted you to marry me. That's how he convinced her. He convinced her with Mama wanted you to marry me. By the way, here's a here's a couple hundred thousand dollars, and it's your birthday. Here's a brand new BMW to go with it. So let me ask you: When you found out that this was even a topic of conversation, when you found out that Mary was marrying at the time your stepfather, right? Yeah. When you found out that she was going to marry him, how did you react? April 26, like 1998. It's on I the left news. the church. We left. Walked out. It, it, it was a month after she died. He, he, he married my daughter. And he came up, yeah, came up with that. Right. He kept her in, his ho- in my mother's house. Away and from her husband. She kept running away from me. Yeah, she kept running away, and he kept going to get her and kept her away from her husband. In order to separate them to ultimately marry Mary. And legally, that would be called alienation of affection in legal terms. So he alienated him being a bishop, alienated her husband, her from her husband, took her to the house up here in Utah, took her to Florida, took her to Indiana and kept her away from her husband. So he could do one thing, brainwash her. Okay. Brainwash her. So when you found out you left the church... We walked out, me and Mark, yeah, and the out. church followed and a whole bunch 400 followers. She sued, the, she sued Robert for transferring properties from mama's possession and transferring them into the church corporation for one reason only. I wish I had to my papers. To control the properties and to keep them away from paying the, the children storage. any inheritance. Because technically, had they have not been put under the church, under the business, then they would have been sold. They would have been sold and that money would have been divvied up to between theirs. you and your family, That's your right. brothers and sisters. That's exactly right. Wow. But my mother gave me her church before she left. And uh and the courts rewarded me. So the church. How is Robert still the bishop? He's not. Well, through through his attorneys and through technicalities and the, so the legalities of all them. kinds of, I, I, to be honest with you, some of it, of course, we don't understand. We're not lawyers. Right. But from what our attorneys have told us and what we've looked into is, you know, they, so when they were found guilty of fraud Since when you go and get conversion, my phone? when they were found guilty of fraud and conversion, they posted a $1.2 million bond to keep them from going to court and to keep them from being arrested. The reason why they did that is because if they posted the bond, there's no damage. So another allegation that came out against Mary had to do with the church. And I don't know if you're 
familiar with a man named Cameron. I don't want mm. to say his last name on I here. I don't just know be... him, but I don't know what, what's it all about. So there's a man named Cameron who appeared on the show, and he explained that at one point, one, he said that Mary's dangerous, and two, he said that Mary and Robert Cosby Sr. are dangerous. The second allegation was that they had him take out $300,000, a mortgage on his house, to give back to the church. Mm. Then this sparked up more allegations, more members of the congregation coming forward. Even Dan Cosby, who's a relative, I've spoken with him. Mm. I've done an interview with him, great guy. But what the accusations are is that Mary and Robert Cosby, when they get low on money, that they go to different members of the church and they use your mom's mama, her former mortgage That's company. Lois. Right. Lois is the only one yeah, that right. does it. To take out mortgages, second mm-hmm. mortgages, Mary and give it back that. to Mary mm-hmm. and the church in order to benefit I, I don't Mary. Know, I, I, think, I, I think I can speak for Rosie and I. First of all, we've been gone from there. We left, October, we left April 26, 1998. Okay. We haven't been back since. Okay. So what they've but been that's doing. Not Mary. But what they've been doing since then. But Lois I look, is in that. They work together. So Bob and Lois. If so you, Mary, if Mary's doing that, or if, or if Mary had any part of that, like I said, I'll, I'll I'll say it again, and if, I don't know if I mentioned this before, I should have. But Mary has been manipulated from the beginning by Robert Cosby and by Lois Johnson. Mm-hmm. She and, gave so you think money. Mary is a victim in all of this? No, she she's is a victim. She is a victim. She is yes, a victim, and is. definitely a victim. But now she's at the age where, I mean, she has a full she has a full grown son now. If I would say anything, and that, and Mary doesn't, you know, we we haven't spoken, and you know, she wouldn't listen to me anyways. And it, but it's okay, I'll, I'll say it anyways. But if Mary was it would would want to be successful in life at any level, doing anything else, the best thing she could do would be get as far away from there and and that man as possible. That's why I'm glad she's with housewives and you know with and Andy. Honestly, for her to get on the show. I'm to glad. me, I I was like Rosie. I'm like first I didn't understand it, but to me it looks like she was trying to that she's trying to get out of the marriage and that relationship by putting a spotlight on by it. putting the information mm-hmm. out yeah. in front of the world. She's smart. I did this because I believe Very this smart. is what my grandmother wanted, and that's the only reason I did it. And I actually and I believe her, she but it's not right true. There. But she was lied to and manipulated because that is not true. Mama did not want her to marry Robert Cosby or and and or do that. Oh, no. And they they set that whole thing up to keep control of the properties, the money, the church, the mortgage company. Because Lois Johnson made a comment that if Rosie got into power, or basically we got into power, she thought that she would be removed or fired or something. Lois, Lois she would have been removed. She would have been. She would have. I, I took her to court. She would have. Let's put it like this: her she, her place. Or her position in the church, and or what she did as for as far as the church business was concerned, would have been redefined had we uh, uh, took over the church. And let me just say as well, Mary saying that Rosie not only wanted Robert, but wanted the oh church. Lord. Rosie didn't have to want the church; she was already one of the founding members. Mama, it's already her me. church. I had the four children. That's you were the chosen one, not Mary. Chosen. Not Mary. No. Wow. Rosie was already over the church. She's a founder. That's why when we, we walked left, the highway. That's why when we left, we, we set up our own church to Salt Lake. You took four hundred members of the church with you. I, I don't yeah. even know how many, but it was it was four hundred. Quite a right. few, yeah, yeah. Wow. Okay, but they so, cut up, you know. And then people, you know, churches. I mean, you know, they went. People men, come and go. People come and go. It's just right. the nature of of salvation or religion. People come and go. People have problems. You know, I, a lot of the people I do business with, with here and that are good friends of mine are, you know, are, are LDS. And it's the same thing. People come, they go, they have their differences, they have whatever, you know. Absolutely. It, it is what it is. Absolutely. Yeah. Since Gwen's one follows us, and why don't yeah. you come and talk? Our people, our people, we, we and, and here's the thing I'd talk like to say to that. We, Rosie and I appreciate everybody that's supported us and, and, and not only left with us, but even if they didn't stay that supported us in trying to help keep mama's legacy up and in front of the people because it's that's what it's always been about for us. Mama was a great, great woman, a very great mentor that helped so many people. And let me just tell you right now, she's nothing like Robert Cosby. And 
the, the way they ran their that church or that organization over there, they're mm-hmm. saying it's a cult. Under Robert, it probably is. So that, Under Bob, it is. That is another question I have for you. There are cult allegations that yeah. Mary... So they on blaming the show, everything on Mary. Yeah, they're blaming on Mary. Well, it's of not course, Mary. because Mary's the housewife. That's so right. no matter what, Mary's oh, the bad guy. Okay. Right. Everything falls on Mary. When in all actuality... It's Bob. Well, allegedly, right? You know, but... But she signed up for it. Right? Everyone watching the show... They're going to immediately say Mary first before Robert Cosby. She, she because did. She's something. The housewife. You know, all them right. floats she had up, those were my floats. And she took a lot of the people, the, all the choirs I put together, she took them. Do you, Mary. Do you think the way the church was ran when you were a part of that specific church, Mama's Church, and the way it is now, do mm-hmm. you think it's Nine completely day. different? Please. Oh, different. yes. Completely different. That's a mess. We went to my, my uncle by marriage that died over there and me and my uh, adopted brother were going to go to the funeral and one of my friends who is a sandy police called me and said hey bro i know you're coming to you know your uncle's funeral he said don't come we have he was doing security work over there for them we have uh, orders to arrest you if you step on the premises wow to go to a funeral <laughs> that's bob. how do you yeah that's how bob operates how do you lock now. the doors on people that want to come pay their respects to people that have died but they have a list of people. Rosie and I are number one and two on the list. That if we show up, we are to the police are to be called and be arrested. If that's not a cult, I don't know what it is. Yeah. We haven't done anything. We're not, what are we going to do? Go over there. We're going over to see a family member that passed to pay our last respects and walk out. Really? That would be a cult. That would be called manipulation and control. And let me tell you something about those type of people. They're full of fear. Okay. Well, I, I, I'm that the general personal so. representative of... My mother's estate now. Mm-hmm. I want it. Dr. Rosemary Redmond Cosby. Mm-hmm. And they said, duly qualified. The courts chose me and mama chose me. That's right. So do you, I mean, Rosie, I, I want to get your input on this too. Mm-hmm. Mark obviously feels like it's been night and day. And you said, yes, the churches ran different. Yeah. Just so we can put these cult allegations to bed. Thank you. Do you think that it is possible Robert Cosby, with Mary being married to him, that they could be running this church like a cult. Because on the show, they, the yeah, members yeah. leaving the church and even some of your family members who have done interviews on YouTube with different bloggers. She media says outlets, she's a cult. Well, she, no, she's being accused of running a cult. Mary's yeah, not a cult, but it's a cult, that church with Robert Cosby. He's doing that. She so, needs, if she's not, let's let's put it like this. I know I'm mm-hmm. Rosie feels the same way I do. Let's put it like this. If if there those are the allegations and the people, not only family and other people are leaving, if she doesn't agree with it and she's and it isn't like that, she better re- remove herself very quickly. No, no. Because under Bob, her. under Bob Cosby, it is a call. Mm-hmm. Okay. Okay. So if she's married to him and it is what it is. You know, one of my biggest questions and watching the show, I think one of the questions that all the fans have is you see Mary navigating this relationship with Robert Cosby. The first season, some, there were some cringeworthy moments where she would talk about her relationship and how she didn't want to, you know, get physical with him at times. And she was disgusted by him and dangerous. And she, well, she went on and on about this. And now we're hearing that she has allegedly cheated on him with one of the members who was from the congregation. His that's name is good. Cameron. <laughs> Do you, you did, did you say that's good? She needs to get away. She should have just went ahead and left. Forget it. So do you think, I mean, Mark, have you heard anything about this? About these Cameron rumors? I heard it, but I don't understand what they I, talking about. I have, and let me just say, uh, Adam. I wish she had ran away. I think, I think what we, I feel the same way Rosie did. Well, what she should have done is just went ahead and kept going. Mm-hmm. If her and Cameron wanted to be together, she should have just went going. I would rather her be with anybody than and to be yeah. in that garbage. Mm-hmm. That's just a lie they and garbage that they tried. That they that he tried to to put a stain on Mama's legacy mm-hmm. and her name. That she that Mama told him and her him to do that with Mary Martha, and it's a blatant, oh, flat yeah. out lie. That's right. It's nowhere near the truth. It's and, it's and not it's a horrible it. lie. Yeah. Wow. Horrible lie. And as far as Cameron is concerned, that may be something for a another, you know, another program. But I actually let me just say this. I met Cameron one time. 
Okay. But I actually have met him on in other circumstances and in another scenario. And I'm, I can't really say anything about it at this point, but there are things, Cameron, from what I understand, was a very successful, honest, and great young man. He's heavy man. Um, and there's nothing really to say as far as details because I can't, I never will affirm something that I wasn't personally involved in. Right. However, I do have family members that were, that do know Cameron personally and connected to him that I can't say anything about other than uh, it, it turned into quite a, quite a mess. Okay. So, he, uh, and yes, I can say this. Responsible. And from what I heard from my family members, yes, he was connected to Mary and Martha in more ways than just a member. They were closer friends at minimum. Okay, that's a very cryptic okay. way of saying that, mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. They were closer than just, than her being the pastor or pastor's wife and him being a member. All right, so I'll leave it at that, especially okay. to respect the man because he Absolutely. has unfortunately passed and Absolutely. he's no longer here. Now, I wanna take it back a little bit to the very beginning um, because you do have a relative, like I spoke about earlier, his name's Dan Cosby. Yeah, and my, I spoke with nephew. Him, your nephew. Mm -hmm. Now, Dan said that at one point, Mary was excommunicated from the church by mama before I, mama I passed away. I don't even away. remember. He was off then when he kept coming down there. Okay. Do you, to you. Do you think hmm? that Mary what, did? I never, mama would have talked to me that is my daughter. She wouldn't have just kicked her out of the church without talking to no. you. No. Let me, let me say no. again, if I may interject. If mama was going to, first of all, for mama to disfellowship anybody, mm -hmm. I only, in, in my lifetime, man and boy, I knew mama only disfellowshipping two people in our church. And she pulled the whole church together and had a saints meeting and a members meeting to do that. Yes. So I don't know where daddy got that. Ever but I, 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 don't, I think that may be a personal thing with him. Because if mama was going to disfellowship yes. Mary, she would call two people, her mother and her husband. Right. Dana. Dana. And she and was nobody, married to and we, Dana and she, she loved She was married to Dana, Dana at the time. And we nobody, and I had never heard nothing about that. So we don't believe that Mary no. was ever excommunicated no. by mama. I don't believe No, it. I don't believe it. Mary wasn't like that. No. Now, so, kind of getting into it, there have also been rumors that at one point, Mary and Robert Cosby were living in New York in this beautiful apartment that cost twenty to $30,000 a month. Plus, they have all these Who properties. That? The grandchildren. That this is what relatives are coming out and saying. I wouldn't doubt it. They're so jealous. I wouldn't doubt that though. I do, wouldn't doubt it. Do you uh, think that? I don't. I never. I don't know. So don't I know. don't believe it though. My question is, Mary. Everyone. She might been been with him. Right. Well, everyone wants to know. Maybe it's because they don't understand the business aspect of owning a church. But she how, don't need to. She don't need to be over no church. She don't know nothing about. Yeah, that. let's put it. Let's the mm -hmm. Rosie took the words out of my mouth on that one too. Let's put it like this. So you do know that with Mama being the chairman of the board of the of of the mortgage company, right? And Robert Cosby and probably Mary as well having some type of ownership in the mortgage company. Not all of their streams of income were coming from the church. He so put it. He put it on Mary because he yeah. know he's not supposed so, to. So Mary. Yeah, they, they had other problems. Multiple but businesses. They probably had multiple businesses and other streams of income. So it wouldn't be just the church. But I feel the same way Rosie does. Mary is not really qualified to be running the church. Mm -mm. Mary was a little girl when they got married mm -hmm. and, and a little spoiled brat, basically. And that's why they that's why he pulled her together to kept, keep control. He, he put it on. That was not about ever about Mary. Okay. No. That was about that's Bob, him. They Robert need to Cosby. look at him. That was about Bob Robert Cosby and Annie Lois Johnson keeping the integrity of the money of the church, the mortgage company, and everything going the way they wanted it to go, and nobody bringing, being able to disturb it. Okay. Just that simple. So when Mary has to defend herself and her church, and she's like, this is my church, you know, this is... I was the chosen one. I was the one no, that mama no. left everything behind. He told, to. I know he told her. You that. think just a well to sum it up, you think that pretty much she is a victim to her husband. That's exactly mm -hmm. right. She's a victim to her husband. He lied and he yeah, lied. Yeah, because the judge felt it. And those people cut up. They think that the inheritance belonged to them. Judge Dever said, I feel that uh, the, the people in here 
they think they're over or in heirs, okay? Now, help me out. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> the heirs are. Uh, heirs, and he said the only heirs in this courtroom is Pamela, my sister, the oldest, Rosalind, I'm the second oldest, mm -hmm. Ernie, my brother, and Debbie, the, my baby sister. That's right. So to sum it up, basically, Mary wasn't even included in the inheritance. No. What happened was- She's a grand- no. She's a grandchild. She's a grandchild. My and child. she married into it. That's right. So it wasn't like, there. her name was not on, on the anything. list no, to no. receive a church. She to didn't receive... show up to any court proceeding, not one. Okay. So the probate proceedings, the criminal proceedings, the fraud proceedings. She was with he kept him. her That's away she... from that and hidden mm -hmm. the whole time mm -hmm. to manipulate and just he just kept giving her money. It was never about her, ever. Okay. Okay. I, that that makes sense. That? Absolutely. Okay. And now I did want to kind of clear something up too because mm -hmm. I don't I obviously don't want to name any names and mention that is other... a cult that they don't let her talk to me. Yeah. There are a lot of... I'm talking about him. Right. He does. Right. Well, there are a lot of points that people make mm -hmm. when they call it a cult. They come out with like a list of reasons why they call it a cult. And right. it seems like you have a list of your own. Oh, yeah. You, so, you know, a cult is like Charles Manson. And, and what's that man's name? A whole bunch of huh? Jim Jones. Jim Jones. That's a cult. Yeah. yeah. And I, my mother's never been never. a cult. When you think about Charles Manson, you think... Scary and yeah, it's Ma scary. It's witchcraft, right? Well, right. Mary was, you know, on the show. Her cast members, Cameron, who was a part of the congregation, they've come forward saying Cameron, Cameron as well, right. saying that Mary is scary. You don't want to cross Mary and Robert because if you do, bad no, things can happen. You don't want to cross Robert. No, Robert's the one who He's, Mary's. Mary's five foot tall. And she don't like him. And 110 man. pounds soaking wet. Yeah, she don't carry no. Mary's not scary at all. She no, just, she's, she's a lot a of mouth. Beautiful. That's all child. she is. She's a cute little girl with a lot of mouth. Robert is scary to some people because he's taller and he's about this big around. He looks hard. He looks scary, but he doesn't scare me because I'd meet him any day, any place, under any condition, anywhere Mark for any reason. Scared of him. Any reason. Mm -hmm. And when I got done with him, we'd see how good he does hiding behind women and children. Mm -hmm. He hides behind women and children. He never confronts grown men, and I'm half his size. I, I, I any, any time, any place. Wow. anywhere under any conditions let's have a conversation i'm not talking about fighting of course if it comes off like I'm talking about fighting because i don't think he's any match for me fighting physically mm -hmm. let's have a man-to-man -man conversation right about what you've been doing and what you mm -hmm. how you treat people let's see how you do with men and not women and children that you hide behind mm -hmm. and then if you want to go to the gym let's go down here to vassal fitness or eo so put some gloves on and we can do that too just box it out okay okay and well, you don't need any because he's actually Honestly, if you want to put this on there, you can. He's actually talked about me so bad to some of his members. They showed up to a couple of my businesses and were standing out in the street going like this. Come on, man. You talking about the bishop. Come on and fight me. So they threatened me personally with my dad, with my dad standing there. And I just looked right at him and said, listen, don't tell your, tell your bishop to don't send you little girls after me. Right. Tell him to be a man and come confront me himself. Okay. Because there's only two things that can keep him from doing anything he wants to do or you from doing anything you want to do. The time it takes you to get from here to there and the space between us, make a move and let's find out what happens. Well, that would be the point that they were making on the show. If you're mm -hmm. saying that people are showing up and they're like, hey, what's up? Yeah. You know, you're talking about the bishop. That's that would probably be the scary that's factor that's right. that they're talking about. But they don't scare me. Matter of fact, he's scared of me. Okay. All yeah, right. I'm sure he would be, you know why? Because he's a coward. Well, you did miss, mention five foot six, and you you mentioned heights and physical attributes and, and stuff. He's, but he's uh, but six. He's five, but he's six foot one by five foot six. Uh, no, okay. he's six foot. <laughs> and Rosie, I have to say, Braxton. you you look, you I mean, Mary, and you, it's they used to think, and they both wow, look, and they both look like mom. You do look like twins. Yeah, Mary looks just like her mother, and they both I look a lot like mom. Though. They really do. They have both look a lot like mom. That's my baby. Did you say I love my Mary? Yeah. Aww. Yeah. We don't. We don't have no. We have. We hold. We hold no ill feelings or anger or frustration with Mary. At I'd all. rather see her. She's at a victim. Housewife than with him. And to be fair, Mark, I've heard about you before yeah. even coming on here. Right. Like I was leading into before with mm -hmm. other platforms talking about you. Right. Saying that at one point you were also cheating 
and you were yeah. cheating on Rosie, and you left, yeah. and you had another woman on the side, and you had a love no, child. No, you don't have another yeah. other woman. No, on the let side. me say this to you, Adam, and just so that I, without saying, because I would love to say their name, but I'm not going to. Right. But let me say this, Rosie, Rosie, and I have had problems with our marriage, like any other marriage, right? In any other relationship, and any issues that we've had is between me and her. That's fair. However. The lie on another YouTube platform that I, that somebody, one of my family members and friend and of mine called and my, me and my, said, my brother, and it had the nerve to be my brother-in-law, Ernest oh, Walton. He lied. And He's said wrong. that I have a, a my cousin. I have a, a, a another Jasmine. female, a woman or a baby mama, as they say, in Indiana with two little children. I got two <laughs> little sons by her is a blatant flat out lie. Mm -hmm. I I you have I have too. one daughter that was from a previous relationship. I only have one child on this planet from a previous relationship before Rosie and I ever started dating. Right. So yeah. co collectively between the two of you, you share six children. You have five. Uh huh. And then you have Mark, a daughter. Yeah, we before. got married. I had one. Yes, right. My daughter. All right. Well, I think that's important too because sure. you know there's a trend with this your family, obviously. Once Mary decided to take on a public platform as big as the housewives, right. there's going to be a lot of scrutiny. Everyone's paying attention. They're all watching. And then there's accusations, allegations. Then you add on top of it, marrying your step-grandfather. Then we're talking about cults. I mean, well, your family has been through step. it. I knew oh, it's they said yeah, it's a mess. That's not true. To be honest with you, after this conversation. He raised them. Them kids so bad now, though. My daughters. She said, I'm on Lois' side. Denise. Denise, yeah. yeah. Lower side. I said, I don't care. Let me just tell you, the you decision know. that he made, Robert Cosby, to go with Mary, or to marry Mary Martha and just then to do all that, split up not only the whole church, both churches here in Indiana, but every single family and anybody connected to those families. I can't tell you how many divorces just came out of it. It affected our family, of first and foremost, everybody in my mm -hmm. wife's family, my family, a lot of people I mean, a lot of people died, split died. up that were married together over an opinion as to whether this was right, what he was doing with Mary, or it was wrong. And they just went poof. And wow. it's been like that ever since. So the decision for him to do that was very, very costly. They, they and at the end of the day, it's a lie. No grandchildren, it's hard. It's a lie. I... I do, as we start to wrap this up and kind of end things off, one of the biggest questions, and I even asked you this, I was mm. speaking with another person that I collaborate with, um, and I was like, you know, what what questions do you think, am I hitting all the points? Because of course, there's a lot. Beautiful report. Culture, yeah. Hey, thank you. And thank you, by the way, Adam. Not to Makes me don't feel Don't forget bad. your thought. No? But really, really, and, and you, I say this out of the utmost respect for you, we, we did we didn't call, we, we're not the type of people, Rosie and or myself, are not the type of people to go out and try to be famous or want to be heard or even really know. need to hear, you know, <laughs> whatever me. we need. I mean, people have lied, people lie on me, people lie on Rosie. Everybody's got their own opinions, whatever. We're not concerned about that. We live our lives. Right. We do what we do and that's it. So when we were basically put together by whatever circumstances it was, I want to say to you that I really appreciate you for allowing Rosie to tell her side of the story, to straighten some things out and her and the truth. And for me to straighten some things out and tell the truth and to give our opinions as well, not just the truth, but our opinions as to what happened. Cause at the end of the day, the motives that people have, God sees all of them and everything is done with a motive. Absolutely. What's the motive? Why did, why did he choose Mary who was married and not, Denise, who was single. When me and Mark, Obama told you she wanted you to marry one of her girls, but she didn't tell you to marry a single one. She told you to marry a married one, but get her divorced first. Isn't that ironic? That's hard. Denise My was single. Never Denise ended. was single, and there were other members that were single. Do you think Denise wishes that she would have been the one? I don't know. Okay. No, she to, wanted you, to marry you. Could, you could ask. You could ask her. I mean, maybe she that's mad, my maybe that's another conversation. Show. Yeah. Call my mother. Absolutely. Denise got Jefferson on her. Is her name. But I, I do feel, you know, thank you so much because yeah. one, I wanted to make sure thank that you. we did this the right way. And Rosie, we've heard about you. We, 
we've heard about how amazing you are, how beautiful you are. And then we've heard that, you know, you're jealous. And oh, I'm like, wait a minute, no. this is all over I the place. Never be jealous. Right. And that's why we, or... I thought it was important to sit down with you to Thank address you. this because no one and has he, heard from you. Um, be... You've never done an interview before. No, no, they don't, we they don't, don't, do don't want me to do anything. We don't do interviews like this because we're not seeking to get anybody. We don't need approval. I'm not a parking ticket. My Rosie's not a parking ticket and I need validation. Wow. I'm going to steal that one, by the way. You understand that? Absolutely. I don't need validation for my life. I live my life. My wife and I, we live our life by the way we, to do the best we can, to do the, the, the best that we can by what we believe, and that's it. And let me just tell you this. I'll say this. Had Mama told, had Mama told or wanted Mary to marry Bob and for well, Mary Mama to continue would church, never she never would. They know it. But they had she Mama. said something like that, she would have talked to Rosie. Why would Me, Mama give her her Dana, her, her husband? Her husband. She, Mama was the type of person, she would outline it. She would have made it very plain. Mm -hmm. What do you think Mama would say today? Oh, she shut it down. If, oh, if she knew that she, Mary... She would come down Oh, there. man. She, mm. she would be upset oh, oh, yes. with Robert and Mary mm. being married. She, well, she'd she, probably, let me tell you, Mama would, is not about divorce, but she'd probably be divorced in. She, she would not be happy she with it. She cut him a check for zero. Though. She already cut him a check. Yeah, yeah. You got to go. They lasted, I mean, they've lasted over 20 years in marriage. Is that That's surprising not to you? True oh, you know saying. why? Of course mm -hmm. they did. Money. Plenty of money to go around for. Mama's was filthy rich. Yeah, that money was that money. But and they the got jealous of that. Yeah, the well's running dry now. Well's running dry. Wow. Okay. Yeah. All right. Well, Rosie, Mark, I appreciate you and thank your time. You, and thank you so much. Mm -hmm. Thank you. You're absolutely stunning. You came out, you got ready, you invited us into your home. Honestly, thank yeah. you for inviting us into your home, letting us have this conversation and letting us hear your side of the story. Thank There's you. going to be a lot of people who are going to see this and they're definitely interested to hear from you. If Mary does catch this, if she sees this, which I'm sure she will, is there anything that you would want her to know at the end of this? Tell I love her and I want her to get away from that man. Yeah. I love her and I want her to get away from that man. Just get just get free and live a just get free. And Stay no matter, there. I would no tell matter, her yeah, no matter if what they mistakes, let her. Yeah, I no matter what mistakes she's made, no matter what problems she has, get free of that mess. Right. And, and, I forgive and live her. a good, free, honest life. But I know it's not her. So It ain't. No, it's not. It's him. He's a liar and a thief.